This is a gangster kitten. This is a watermelon. Any questions? It's rock and roll to me, there's no control in me. I sold my soul and stole the gun from royalty. I'm locked and loaded. Whoa! This is not what I was expecting. All right, so he definitely took the, this is something that you hear, that, that, that instrumental in the beginning, something that you hear in a Coors Light or a uh, truck commercial. Electric guitars, heavy drums that kind of have a delayed drop to them. So it's like, like but that, that, was a, that was a bad example. Tambourines at the tail end of the snare drum sound. So it just has like that, that chains type sound to them, like chains dropping on the floor type sound. Um, and then that that organ, that you, you, you could kind of hear it in the background a little bit. It's like a stomp clap. So you hear those you hear those tambourines now? That's dope. I like those guitar. I like the electric guitars in the background too. I like that for that transition there. That's dope. Okay. Oh, okay. He's showing. He's showing you the. Uh, he's showing you what he's got in the holster right now, man. <laughs> and I and I don't mean that just by this song. I mean it by the last three or four releases. They're all completely different. They're damn near different genres from each other. His song before this was really hip hop. If I remember it correctly, I didn't do a reaction to it, but I remember it. And the song before that sounded like a satire Macklemore song. Now this one is just like rock rap fusion mixed together. He's even showing you off these vocals here. These are dynamic vocals. They're, they're a little bit easier to pull off in the studio because they require stacking the vocals a lot. So that way, you know, you have a lot of vocals layered on top of each other. These, these type of songs with these stomp and claps and electric guitars and ambient type of percussion in the background it, it relies a lot on layers on layers for the instruments for the vocals everything just has to be really stacked up so everything sounds really dense in the mix I like that little chant they got in there with the melody. Ooh. Now that's that, that's dope how they got that, like put that in there. Cause I, when I first heard this hook, I was like, I oh, don't know, it just doesn't doesn't have any catchiness to it. But this ashes to ashes part, the second part of the hook, I should have waited. I should have gave it a chance. This is when it, this is when it comes full circle. <laughs> You hear those drums? They don't smack either, they just but they're heavy. It is flow is dope. His flow is dope in the song, but I can't help but hear the instrumental, man. Those tambourines just in the background there, it just adds to the pace. And when those pick up the pace, that's when he picks up the pace. You notice how they both come in at the same time? Once those tambourines go, he starts going, Juvenile Tyrant.
Yo, dude, listen to, let me play that again, man. Try to listen really close to how many different vocals and harmonies are stacked up here when he's singing Ashes to Ashes. There's like a, there's a high one, there's a falsetto that's really tucked in the mix, and it's like, Ashes to Ashes, da, da. It's, like, it's doing something like that. And then he has like a low one, like, Ashes to Ashes, da, da. Like, and then you have, of course, the main ones that you hear in the middle, but try to listen to those. Try, 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 try. Try with some headphones on, it'll be a lot easier. Ooh, I love that. I like the pianos here. Chance. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah, you were able to hear the drums really clearly there and probably you could hear what I meant about that. Stomp, clap. It's probably not literally a stomp. Um, the clap is probably a bunch of claps recorded at the mic and stacked all on top of each other uh, in the studio. Then they have like some toms in there, like those deeper sounds, so those deeper drum sounds, doom, 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 whatever. But it's just the low tom, so it's just doom, doom, doom. Does this does this make any sense? I like that. I just caught what he said. An overdose of I don't care what you believe. Ooh, that harmony on Mama is crazy. That electric guitar just doing that like rise effect on that. I don't know my guitar terminology that well. I haven't really learned to play guitar or anything like that. But you hear every time the snare hits, the guitar does that effect. Boom, 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 boom. You can hear it really clear right here. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Woo! I bet you that was one of the most fun he's ever had making a song before. <laughs> that was Fuego! I appreciate that, man. I appreciate an artist that has diversity, that tries different things, different types of styles, different type of genres. Cool to see. It's a breath of fresh air. So keep it coming, stay creative, don't be predictable. But if you are predictable, whatever you're doing, make it good, damn it.